Setting up a Maxim wood pellet and corn furnace is a straightforward and simple operation that most do-it-yourselfers can easily accomplish with basic hand tools. The first step is to remove all the packing materials and the chimney from the base. For now, leave the chimney sections in their cardboard shipping boxes and set them aside. Next, unbolt the chimney base and remove all four furnace holds from the pallet and remove the rear chimney shipping cover from the Maxim. Also remove the cleaning rods and the parts box from the Maxim burn chamber. For now, set the parts box aside. After the brief assembly process, position and fasten the chimney base to the rear of the Maxim. Next, open the hopper cover and install the chimney retaining bracket. Attach the first chimney section and secure it in place using the stabilizing strap with the seam of the chimney facing the rear of the furnace. Remove the two side covers and your furnace is ready to prepare for installation. The parts and pieces to be installed will depend on your particular heating system. All existing port covers must be removed and any unused supply and return lines must be capped. At this point, install all necessary fittings, valves and circulators. The circulator size for your application may differ from the one shown here depending on the size and type of heating system you use inside your home or building. The Maxim is now ready to be placed into its final position. The design of the Maxim allows you to support it on a concrete base, crushed gravel, or patio blocks. In this simulated installation, we'll position the Maxim on a base of concrete patio blocks. Always exercise caution when working around forklifts and other heavy lifting equipment. Prior to moving the Maxim into place, you should have installed and prepared the water lines which will circulate the water between the Maxim and your home heating system. These lines will connect your pellet burner through the bottom floor of the Maxim. To ensure proper grounding of the furnace, install and connect the supplied grounding rod kit. Be certain to have a certified electrician connect the Maxim's AC power supply. The use of a 12-2 underground wire with a 15 amp breaker is required. Consult local electrical codes for additional information. Next hook up the supply and return lines. Be sure to slide the PEX tubing as far onto the PEX adapter as possible before tightening the clamp. Once the water lines are connected, position the chimney cap onto the second section of the chimney. Attach that section to the top of the first section and, for a nicer appearance, line up the seams in back of the furnace. Then secure it in place with four self-tapping screws. Now place a full propane tank in a secure location next to the Maxim and attach the propane hose. When the tank is properly connected, open the propane valve. Before filling the Maxim with water, you must first pour one half bottle of corrosion inhibitor into the water jacket through the vent pipe in the top. Next, fill the Maxim with water through the same opening. When the furnace is full, return the vent cap and plug in both the Maxim and the circulator. Now it's time to fuel the Maxim. Simply open the seven bushel hopper lid and pour in your choice of either corn or wood pellets. The Firestar Electronic Controller by Central Boiler provides you with easy operation of your Maxim outdoor wood pellet and corn furnace with just the touch of a button. The automatic power ignition and auto relight feature use propane to reliably start the fire as needed, eliminating the need for hand starting or use of starting gels or lighter fluids. The water temperature, feed rate and fan set are adjustable so you can customize the settings for your personal heating requirements. The heat output is self-modulating and automatically adjusts between idle, normal, and high settings as your heat demand changes. And the LED display informs you of the current water temperature. At this point, check over the installation for any signs of leaks. To prevent damage to internal parts by rodents, block access holes with quickcrete or P-Rock. Use silicone caulk to fill unused access holes and slide metal plates down to cover shipping slots. Reattach the rear side panels and enjoy the warmth, comfort and energy savings provided by your Maxim wood pellet and corn furnace.